Now I'm going to add one more action after this, or at least another state, and I'm going to call this looting. Make sure I have my comma up there. And again, I come down here, make another case statement for that state. Put my break in there. I'll make yet another function. It's private void. And we'll just call it looting. And I'll put a debug in there too so we know it's there. But I'm not going to set the state right after combat like in the combat method to be looting, I'm actually going to nest another state machine in there. So I'm just going to come up here and create another one. So this is going to be another public enum. I'm going to call it combat. And I'll just think of the stages of combat. So there's find enemy. attack enemy and enemy dead now I'm going to come down here and create another variable to hold what state we're in for our combat but this one I'm going to make public just because we can play around with it in the editor and this will be of type combat Uh, you can use FSM combat. It's just referring to the name of the class, but since it's local, I generally just like it like this. And I'm just going to call it combat with a lower C. And where we started up, I'll just say combat is equal to find enemy. My mouse wheel one again. Okay, so now that we're in combat, I'm going to create another switch block down here. And we'll be switching on the variable of combat. I'm not going to put this one in a while loop because we already have a while loop up here. And I'm going to define the cases for it. So there's three cases, and they all have a break. And I'm just going to cut and paste this three times, well, two more times, just to make it a little easier, less errors. So we have find enemy first, combat dot attack enemy and combat enemy dead. Now I want to go ahead and create some functions for this. So I'll just make them all private. Void find enemy private void attack enemy and private void enemy dead and I'll throw some debugs in here finding enemy attacking enemy fingers just aren't working today 
and debug log enemy dead. Now I want to go through and change the states through here. Uh, let's call this looting actually. So when we go into the combat state, the first one we're going to go into is find enemy. So you'll have all your code in here, you know, what you have to do to find an enemy. Then once you've found an enemy, you'll want to start attacking them. So we're just going to set our combat. To equal combat dot attack enemy. And once we start attacking enemy, you know, you just keep fighting to either you or the enemy dies. And again, you'd have all your code in here, but let's say that, you know, we have some sort of outcome where we actually kill the enemy. At that point, we'll want to say that our combat state is going to be equal to combat dot enemy dead. And then when your enemy's dead, you might have something that goes on while the enemy dies, maybe some sort of particle animation or you know whatever you need but after that's done you'll actually want to turn around and take your original state which is underscore state make it equal to state dot and whatever whatever you need after that we have no state set up where you're just standing around waiting for it, but we could just use idle and some other script outside could tell us when to switch so let's say you have a collider on you and when a, a mob enters that collider that's when it would switch you from idle to combat so I forgot my semicolon there and we're also going to want to take our combat state and reset that as well combat dot find enemy so now let's take a look at the debug messages for this. And I have an error here. Ah, see, I can't call this combat because I have my num called combat. So I'm just going to change it to in combat. And again, I forgot to tell it what functions to call. So here I'll just come up and go find enemy, attack enemy, and enemy dead. So let's try this again. I'll clear it, start it up. And take a look. So it starts off. Uh, this is init me. Goes to there to the set me up. Into the combat. It finds the enemy. And it goes cycles through the main loop again. And it looks like it goes. Oh, I'm still in the com I'm still in combat. Now it's going to start attacking the enemy. Then it goes through the loop again. It attacks the enemy. It goes through the main loop again. It, we're still in combat. And then enemy dead. And I never told it about the looting function. So we'll quickly add that. And now when we run it, we should get all of our debugs. right here we have to switch to looting then in the lootings where we switch it to idle so here we go now I think I finally have it there we go so let me pull up our code again 
I'm going to minimize this a bit. I want to look at the first loop here. So it's going to start off with the init me function. So it comes down here. Then we see that it sets the state to setup. Then it, the setup sets it to combat. So the next thing that happens is it starts going through the in combat states. Now it's important to note that it's only going to do one state per iteration. So when it comes in, it does the find enemy, as we can see down here. And it does everything it needs to in the find enemy part. And then at the end of find enemy, we're setting the combat state to attack enemy. But it doesn't go to attack enemy right away. You'll notice it goes back into its main loop up here. And the state hasn't changed. So when it goes through this loop, it goes back into state combat, which calls the in combat function, which then in turn calls our second state engine. And that has changed. So it goes into attack enemy. We scroll down a bit here. And you know it calls off the attack enemy. And at the end of the attack enemy, when the enemy is dead, it's going to call. Oh, sorry, when the enemy is dead, it's going to change our combat to you know enemy dead, and it goes back up to the main loop again. You know the main state hasn't changed, so it's still state combat. So it comes back down here. It does the enemy dead function which of course at the end is going to set our combat state back to find enemy and our main state back to state looting. So when it comes back up here, it goes through and our state is equal to looting. So it calls the looting function. And you know, that's where you put all your looting stuff in. Then it sets the state to idle and just ends. Anyway, I hope that gives you a little bit of a heads up on what we're going to be doing with our code soon in the hack and slash tutorial series uh, if not tomorrow's a live show i'll start it off you know if anyone has any questions on a finite state machine uh, if so just tune in then if you can't get into the show for whatever reason uh just leave a comment on the forums i'll see you in the next video Bye bye